Hello everybody, Summers Lurkers here, welcome back to the railway, and welcome to another experiment. Today I'll be trying to turn a one tonned locomotive and turning it into a two tonned locomotive. Because, well, usually, I will, well, mostly on the railway lines of the UK, you already see only one tender for single locomotives, that is. But actually, one locomotive did have two tenders, that was a flying Scotsman. And also, I think, uh, I think it was Bitten who also had two tenders, but it didn't have that for very long and it just went straight away. Uh, now, Fly Scots only had two tenders going across America because obviously water was very scarce going around sort of Texas sort of well sort of area as of being in a sort of bit of a de desert. And well I'm going to see if what if uh, can a locomotive have two tenders put onto it and still well still pull some stuff. Probably the answer's gotta be yes, but you never know what's gonna be. So what I'm going to do is get two tenders from two locomotives down there and get one specific locomotive uh, and then see what's, what I can do with it. So I'll go and get all the stuff ready and I'll put it all on the track and well, I'll show you what I'm, while, whilst I'm doing it so well, you can see. So I'll get all the stuff ready and here we go. Turning a one tender locomotive into a two tender locomotive. So I'm going to actually use two locomotives today. First one obviously will be Flying Scotsman, so I'll put this and uh, her on the track. Hopefully she actually fit on the track. Here's all the bogey wheels on the front on the actual track because sometimes they're quite annoying to go onto the track. So there it is. And obviously with its MR tender, it's getting under hopefully first time. And it is first time. Perfect. And then I'm going to use Tornado's tender to put onto the track. Now, because it's a bit of a different, because we've got different couplings touching to each other. Now, yeah, that doesn't look quite right because you've got a normal coupling. Oh, hello. Oh, close coupling. Nice. Now, Hopefully, I'm going to see what it looks like uh, whilst I'm moving it. Now, going backwards is going to be a bit of a story because as you're going backwards, as you can see, it's just going to not let it hook right out, and then as it pulls back, it just misses completely. So, I'm going to try and see if I can keep it going forwards, but then I'm going to have to, uh, well, get something else to put it behind. Now, this is literally. Oh, there we go. Right, I'm going to just controls and see what it looks like with two tenders. Just controls, moving forward. Good movement, no? Oh, going backwards this time. Whoops. Ah, oh, yeah, our flying spot swim is very temperamental now for some reason. It's sort of like, uh, I think we've got very dirty wheels, is probably the problem. Move forward. Ah, yeah, but the problem already. Yeah, bit of a big problem there, but. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna, probably going to use Tornado in a minute, but I'll use Flying Scotsman just for this thing. Let's just, 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 yeah, just this part. Whilst there, uh, it's it right backwards. Now, because the uh, Flying Scotsman is just not very good as a runner, I don't know, it looks like I've done a bit of service on there. I need to uh, go on. There we go, come on. Yeah, I'm going to have to use, switch over the locomotive and use uh, Tornado for this one. And yeah. All right, so fast. So, um, I'm gonna switch Flying Scotsman over to Tornado. Hang on, so I've now got Tornado on, and I'm only going for a slow speed for the moment just for this bit. But there you have it two tenders. Now, I mean, it doesn't really look right, 
But yeah, so I'm going to go back to the controls because it's from the side to stop on the points again. Right, there you go, right, go to the controls and uh, like that. There we go. So we know it can work. Uh, track. So what I'm going to do is this. Set into forwards and yeah, thought so. Uh, it's come loose again. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, make it go around the track and I'll show you what it looks like going around the track. Hopefully, the tendon doesn't come uncoupled, which I'm probably say now I've just said that it probably will, most likely will. Get these, these two tenders coupled again. Come on. You know you want to. Right, you keep going away. There we go. Right. I'll get this locomotive running and then I'll show you what it looks like around the track. Hopefully it goes well. So, here we go. Is that right? Yeah. Right. There it goes. Oh, um, we've got the run already. Hang on. And almost right away, I noticed a problem that uh, Fly Scotsman's tender only has, well, close couplings. So, none of those has long and far couplings. So, well, well cl close and, uh, well, yeah. You know what I mean? It got stuck around this bend right here and it would not run. Like, it, the tender was just too close to the air locomotives, so it just got stuck. So I've had to um, use Fire Scotland's tender at the back this time, uh, with Tornado's tender at the front, uh, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, when it comes around again I'll show you, and then once it's come past again, I'll move the camera slightly so you can actually see a good look at it, I'll get some coaches on it. I'll uh, start off with, I'll just put, um, oh yeah, I've got a bit of a problem now. Uh, Flying Scotsman's tender has come loose, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just go straight into the uh, coaches. So I'll be over by the, well, I keep all, all my rolling stock, and yeah, here we go with the coaches test. So now that I've got some well, cho chocolate and green coaches on the back of the, this two tender locomotives. Let's get this locomotive off, and I'm only going to use it for so long, uh, because I'm worried that the first person in the series will keep coming off uh, at the the track by the, well, the, se the second mat uh, to you, just, just uh, oh, follow the background. So, here we go, let's go in the right direction, and no movement because the tunnel has cut out on the points again. Um, let's see what happens. Come on. You know you want to. Alright. Going alright so far. Alright, let's see how it looks like around the track. And so, with conclusions, is it successful? Yeah. Pretty successful. Apart from it keeps coming out of the, uh, by the, uh, well, the hatch. Only to do with, uh, Bit of a, a dead zone there, and some locomotives are really, really badly affected by it, but some locomotives aren't. So yeah, with that, that concludes today's video. Another good experiment ticked off, and yeah. So have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you next one for more experiments. So. Bye for now, see you next one, bye everyone.